Hi everyone, this is Sam Finlay, and in this short video I'm going to show you how to create stacks using the graphics pack and how to implement your animated call to actions, your image backgrounds, and your image fallback backgrounds for mobile viewing. I'm also going to share some design tips and tools that I use when creating stacks. So let's get started. Up here I've got a demo set up, so I'll just show you what it looks like first on desktop. So this stack is a, it's a video background, as you can see, timer and media. And when the call to action is clicked, it links through to an opt-in. And then once that is entered, there is a confirmation message. As you can see here. Okay, so that's what I'm setting up. And I'll show you just quickly, I've got this also mirrored onto my phone. So I'll show you what it looks like on mobile as well. So I'll just refresh it. So as you can see on phone, instead of the video background, we have a nice image and the form has been resized to the video screen, to the phone screen. And same deal if I, moving on my phone, if I click the call to action, we see the opt-in form. So I'm going to show you how I set this up, including how I choose my colors and other various design tips. Okay, so I'll delete this and start again from scratch. So create new, give your stack a name. and choose the page you want to display it on. And set your trigger action. I'm setting timed at two seconds. Down here, you can choose your display options and your animations for the stack form itself. So I'm doing fading up. And for the button animation, I'm choosing swing with a looped interval of two seconds. Now down in the background settings, I'm setting a video, which I've got here on YouTube. This is from our HD videos pack. So I'm grabbing that and pasting the URL in here and setting that as my video background. And I'll set that to loop and I'll also mute the background. Up in my template layout, I'm choosing media and timer and I'll set my stack to be a bit bigger than normal and 550 pixels wide and I'll auto center it in my browser window. And down here I set a confirmation message. There we go. And save my changes. So now as we've set up our timer and media, I need to now move to those sections and customize them. So we'll do media first. Here I'm setting it as an image and I'm using one of the animated call to actions from the graphics pack as the image. So to do that, I upload it here by clicking this button and I'll select a file from my computer. So here's the folder from the graphics pack. As you can see, we've got a bunch of animated call to actions here that are perfect for different, different niches and different campaigns. So I'll choose this one, free video tutorial, and upload it. And insert into post. Okay, so now I've got the animated GIF in there. For my heading, for the text in, in this tutorial, I'll just leave it as the default, just to speed things up a bit for your viewing. So I'll just leave that for now. Okay, for my color settings, I want to show you a tool that I use to speed things up and also to pick colors that will work well with the video background or whatever background I'm using. So what I do is I move to the dash and I have a look at the video sample. And then I use a tool called 
color picker eyedropper. This is a, a browser extension tool that you can get for Chrome and Firefox, etc. Just Google it, color picker eyedropper, and you'll find it. So I've added it in here, here to my Chrome browser. So what I do is I'll just select it. And what it does is it lets me pick any color on screen and get the color code for that. So I'll go down here and pick a nice purple color and copy it. Um, pick a second one, like a darker purple, copy it, and then a darker purple still, and copy it. Close that off. And then I move to my media section. And I'll use these colors as the color codes to set my form background to match the video background. So I'll select form background. And if I pull up, this is another tool I use called Copyless. What this does is it's a extended clipboard. clipboard. So everything you've copied for the last hundred or so copies are saved in here and you can easily access them. So you can just search that as well in Google. It's just called Copyless. I think it's about $5 to buy. So here I've got my sample colors and I'll copy that, paste it in, change my form color. For my heading, I'll choose another color, copy it and paste it in, like so. And now for the media, I want it to link through to my opt-in so I'll choose include call to action and I'll set it to trigger opt-in like so. And now for the button, I'll change that color a little as well. So we'll go button backgrounds and I'll choose a nice turquoise color. Okay, and save my changes. And I'll also just quickly get rid of the subheading, like that, and save. So now we have our media set up using the call to action from the graphics pack and sampling colors from the video itself. So now moving over, oh, first before I move over into timer, I'll just copy out this color code to use so we can keep things consistent across the different forms. So I'll move the timer. I'll take away the subheading. I will come down here to color settings and go form backgrounds. Choose my color and paste it in. This one as well. And I'll change my cards to white. And for the heading background, I'll change it to this color. Actually, that's slightly light, lighter purple. That's a. Okay, I'll save that. Save that out. and set my timer to user aware for three days. Okay, so now we've got our media and our timer set up and it triggers the opt-in, so we also need to set that up. So again, I'll move down, choose heading backgrounds and paste in my color. Choose form backgrounds and paste in same color like so and then for the call to action button I'll paste in the color I sampled from the other form okay and here I'll also change the input fields background to white and the text 
to a doc rag so you can see it. So we're going to run the input fields text to a doc rag and save my changes. Okay, so that's set up. And if we move to dash, we'll have a look at the preview and see what it looks like so far. So we have our forms open up, and we have our space background and our media and timer matching the background, and our call to action links through to the opt in, as you can see. Okay, so that's looking good. And now I want to show you image fallback for mobile. So on desktop viewing now, that video background will play. But you don't want video backgrounds to play for mobile viewers because it will slow down their load times and usually turn them off and send them away from your page. So you just want a nice, clean, low-res image. So what I've done is I've, I was talking to Bobby about this and we got together and put together a graphics pack for you for fallback images. So as you can see here, I've set up various images set to be optimized for mobile viewing. So I've got a night scene, desktop, earth atmos atmosphere, road, beach, and glacier scene. Then I've also made, if you want something a bit simpler, I've made various gradients, like so. So if you want something simple behind your forms, you can use these ones. So the way that you use these is, back in stack, if you move to the dash, and then scroll down to the background settings. So you've got your video set here. If you move to image and choose upload, you can select one of these files on your computer. So I'll just use a image. I'll choose the city night image because the colors also match the colors I chose for the space background. And I'll load that up. give it a second to load. Okay, so that's been pulled in and the dimensions are correct to view for you know iPads, iPhones, various mobile devices and also you know up to the the newest iPhone Plus and Galaxies etc. So I'll insert that in. Okay, so that's been pulled in. So now what will happen is desktop viewers will see the video, but mobile viewers will see this image behind their form instead. So one thing you've got to make sure is to set your background to video. Okay, so now on desktop, I'll see the video and even though it's not selected, on mobile viewing it'll fall back to the image that's been placed there, been uploaded there. So select video finally and save changes and now we'll publish our stack. So now if you view it, we'll see our as you can see, we've got a space video background and our forms, a call to action, which moves through to the opt-in. And if I pull up the mobile that is mirrored, a mobile that's mirrored again here, just give me a sec, I'll just mirror it across. Okay, so I've got my phone mirrored here, I'm just refreshing the page. As you can see on phone viewing, you've got the nice image background and the form showing the same resize to fit the mobile screen. So this is mirrored to an iPhone 6 Plus at the moment. So if I click the call to action on my phone, as you can see it moves through to the call to the opt-in form. Okay. So that's all the tips that I want to share with you today and show you, showed you how I set up my forms, how I set up my stacks from scratch. And just to recap, 
So the tools that I use to speed things up in the process uh, when creating stacks, I use Color Picker Eyedropper to choose the, the various colors to match the backgrounds. And I use Copy Less to copy across you know, my various color codes. And you know, I use this every day all the time when setting up my launches and various promotions, you know, copying across URLs and setting up everything. It's a great time saver as well. So moving back to Stack, I hope that was helpful and you'll see down below this video that there is a button to download your new pack that has your image fallback for mobile viewing, resize and optimize for mobile viewing, and also the gradients pack of colors. So I hope you find, hope you find it useful and thanks for watching. Cheers.